Welcome back, another episode. The latest episode of SWAT appears to resume an earlier season plotline with Nichelle and launch Tan into a new romantic endeavor. SWAT Season 7, Episode 11 Squad 20 had wrapped up a sniper case when we last saw them. Deacon turned over control of SWAT Academy to Tan at the end of the episode, and he had officially left his badge in his locker. But does this actually indicate that his job is done? Even though there's always a chance things can improve by the conclusion of the season, the most recent episode, Whispers, has a lot to look forward to. Promo and synopsis for episode 11 of SWAT season 7A Although there wasn't much to work with in the episode trailer, we did get a quick glimpse of someone who appeared to be tan, dressed to the nines, moving stealthily outside of what appeared to be a church. Furthermore, since he is not on duty, it appears that he is vulnerable to being fired without any protection. What is Tan's current situation? According to the plot, Tan gets attacked by mercenaries while attending a black tie dinner with a new romantic interest. This new woman in his life is probably Olivia Navarro, the journalist that we met a few episodes ago as the crew was trying to stop a doomsday prepper whose son had kidnapped a young woman. The two were flirting a lot, and it would be wonderful to see Tan happy again after what happened in his previous relationship. Naturally, though, anything that can go wrong will go wrong in the world of SWAT. According to the whole synopsis, when mercenaries commandeer a black tie correspondence dinner, Tan finds himself on a one-man mission to defend his new love interest and her journalism colleagues. It's up to SWAT to find the skilled shooters once the group flees, so no one else gets killed. When it is discovered that Nichelle is hiding something, Hondo and Nichelle become irate and return home to find their home destroyed. Additionally, their decades-long friendships are in danger of ending as Hicks, Mumford, and Buck go down memory lane, who breaks into the house of Hondo and Nichelle. Regarding the plot between Hondo and Nichelle, all we can surmise is that it might involve her former colleague, Bruce. He had nearly gotten Nichelle into trouble at work by framing her. Then, despite his wrongdoing, he attempted to persuade her to endorse him for a new position. After he destroyed the community center, Nichelle promised not to tell Hondo and that she would be open to giving him another chance to turn his life around. Additionally, Walter Fauntleroy, the actor who plays Bruce, said on Instagram that Bruce will be returning. When he comes back, we can't wait to see what occurs. Michelle not telling Hondo what occurred is bound to cause friction, but we have faith that they will return stronger than before. Regarding the Commander Hicks plot, it appears that certain well-known characters who haven't appeared on television in a long time will be making an appearance. Retired SWAT officer Jack Mumford made his final appearance in Season 4. It's unclear what the plot is about their comeback because William Buck Spivey is another former officer who was last seen in Season 3. For more videos, subscribe.